familiar. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you for participating in my user interview. I really appreciate the time you took out of your day to share some insights with me. I'm working on a project to research consumer behavior specifically regarding your typical e-commerce experiences. Throughout the interview, I'll be asking questions regarding general human behavior, digital behavior, and then more specific questions regarding your experience with Zara.com. So to start, could you tell me a little bit about yourself um, how old are you? What are you studying? And what is something that you're passionate about? Oh, okay. Um, I'm 21. <laughs> I'm studying marketing. Um, something that I'm passionate about is um, helping people and making impact. Awesome. Could you walk me through your typical day? Um, I wake up, I'm on my phone for like 10 minutes probably, go to class, eat lunch. During the day, I'm typically like not really on my phone, but I'm doing like schoolwork on my computer. And then like at night, I'm always on my phone before bed. Okay. Very cool. So you would say you normally interact with your phone before you get out of bed? Yeah. Awesome. Um, what do you use the internet for most on a normal day? Like, checking email or um, checking, like, Canvas, doing mm -hmm. assignments on Google Drive or whatever. Awesome. Um, and what websites would you say you use on a typical day? Um, like, Gmail, Facebook, um, Canvas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how many hours a day do you feel like you use your electronics? Like, phone plus computer? Yeah. Honestly, probably like five. Okay. And which one would you say you use the most? Um, during the week, my laptop, but during the weekends, my phone. Okay. And what point in the day do you usually spend the most time consecutively online? I would say like right before bed because mm -hmm. I check Twitter and that usually takes me like 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so now we're going to transition a little bit to the more focused on online um, questions in e-commerce, actually shopping online. Would you say that you prefer to shop online or in-store? Um, typically online. In how many days a week would you say you shop online? I probably browse at least two times a week, at least. Okay. And what is your biggest pet peeve when shopping online? When there's not photos of the clothes on the model. Interesting. I love that perspective. <laughs> um, what do you look for most when you're shopping online? I look for like clear categories that the clothes are in, um, that the sale section is like easy to find, mm -hmm. and um, that like the prices are clearly marked like with the discount because it can be confusing sometimes if mm -hmm. there's a sale. Yeah, I get that. Um, what kind of goods or services do you typically shop for online? Mostly clothes, but then, like, on Amazon, if I need, like, random things, I'll go mm -hmm. there. But I don't really buy clothes on Amazon yeah. too much. And how important would you say user interface is when using a website? Scale would, of 1 to 10. I would say, like, 9. Okay. What would you say your number one priority is when shopping online? Number one priority? Um, like, the process is easy, I guess. Like, mm -hmm. from start to finish, it just... Is easy. Seamless. Yeah. What motivates you to shop online rather than in stores? I'd say, like, more options. And, like, at the mall, I just... It's just, like, too overwhelming almost Yeah. to go into a store. But online, it's just, like, easy. You mm -hmm. can stop when you want to. Awesome. So we're going to shift a little bit more to specific questions about your experiences with Zara. Okay. Um, do you prefer shopping online or in store at Zara? In store. Mm -hmm. I've never yeah. really shopped online at Zara mm -hmm. because their website is so hard to use. I think. Yeah. Um, so you do you, could you walk me through your last experience um, shopping online or browsing? Not necessarily purchasing, yeah. but yeah. So I was like looking for a new pair of jeans. So Zara, I have found has had really good denim in the past, but I've only bought it in stores. So when looking. On Zara's website, um, I just went, like, went to their denim section, 
and kind of just browse for a little bit. I ended up adding a pair to my cart, but I didn't follow through mm-hmm. with the purchase. It was that, what was the factor behind that? Um, I think I wasn't sure about sizing. Mm-hmm. And Fair. like the model wasn't like my size, so it was hard to tell. Yeah. Um, is there any way that Zara in that instance was not supporting your needs with their website? Um, it'd be helpful maybe if they had like more size, like different models wearing different sizes Mm -hmm. or if they had like, I can't remember if they do do or don't, but like reviews are always really helpful to look at, Mm -hmm. um, to see if like somebody your same size is buying a certain size. Did you feel like there was anything that was hard to find on the website? Um, their website's just, like, really tough to use because, like, the pictures are so big, so you have to scroll so many times to find Mm -hmm. something. So, like, after so many scrolls, you could just kind of lose interest. If you could change one thing about their website, what would it be? I think, like, smaller, like, row, or, like, more items in a row Mm -hmm. just to make the, like, initial... Like, look when you're browsing easier, I guess. Awesome. And then, finally, do you think that the issues you have with Zara's website impact your likelihood to make a transaction online? Yes, because I just lose interest after Mm -hmm. so long, whereas, like, on a different website, I might scroll to, like, the 10th page. Zara, I always scroll to, like, the second page. Mm -hmm. So I'm, like, losing all these possible items that I could actually like because Mm -hmm. I just lose interest. Awesome. So those are all the questions that I have. I appreciate the time you took to go through this to help me develop more insights. Um, If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them at this moment. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you.